Today, we are going to be balancing the reaction of Mg3N2 plus H2SO4, right, sulfuric acid, and that will produce or yield magnesium sulfate, which is MgSO4, and then plus ammonium sulfate, which is NH42SO4. I already wrote down a chart, and all of the elements or the polyatomics that I see that are on both the reactant and the product side. Notice that I have grouped the sulfate together as SO4. Now, let's write down how many we have. I have three magnesiums, so I'm going to put a three here. I have two total nitrogens, so I'm going to put a two where the nitrogen is. I see that I have two hydrogens. So I'm going to put a two here. And then for the entire sulfate, which is SO4, there was no parentheses here. So I just have one sulfate. So I put a one here. Going over to the product side for my magnesium, I don't see a subscript anymore. That means that there's one. So I'm going to put a one here. For my sulfate, now be careful. I see that I have sulfate here and I see that I have a sulfate here. Remember, the 4 is included in the sulfate. I have 1 sulfate plus 1 sulfate. So that's a total of 2 total sulfates. So I'm just going to put that down here. Now I just need to work with the nitrogen. I have a nitrogen here, and there's a 2 on the outside. So 2 times 1, I have a total of 2 nitrogens. And then for the hydrogens, I see that I have 4 but it's being multiplied by two, so four times two is a total of eight. Now, I try to just balance one element at a time. It does not matter which one you choose first, but just choose the one that looks the easiest to balance. Maybe what I will do is I will balance the magnesiums. So I see that I have three on the left side and I have one on the product side. So you're always going to want to get the lower number and get it to the higher number by multiplication. One times what will get me to three? One times three. Whatever number that you said is going to be the coefficient for where the element is. So I'm going to put a three here. But now you have to be fair. This number gets distributed to the element magnesium and the polyatomic sulfate. So we have to change both numbers. There are three magnesiums, that's what we wanted. And now remember, I have sulfate here and sulfate here, so I have to add both of them up. I have three sulfates plus one sulfate here, so three plus one is a total of four. So I'm just gonna change my two and turn it into a four. Now let's see which one looks easier to balance, the sulfates or the hydrogens. Let's do the hydrogens. The hydrogen that I need to balance is on the left side, it's here. Two times what will get me to eight? Oh, two times four. And whatever number you stated goes to the compound that has that element, and it's going to be a coefficient. So I'm gonna put a four here. But you gotta be fair. Whatever you put it towards, it has to go to everybody. So I have four times two, which is eight total hydrogens. That's what I wanted. But now for the sulfate, I have four total sulfates now. But that's perfect because look at that. I have four and four. So by balancing the hydrogens, we actually balance the sulfates as well. And now all of my numbers are the same for each element or polyatomic on the left and right side. So we are totally balanced. So the balanced equation would be 1 Mg3N2 plus 4 H2SO4s, and that will yield us 3 MgSO4s plus 1 NH42SO4. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I hope this helped. If it did, press the like button, and if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.